drive up. Holly and Robin will be down in just a minute. Good luck, thanks. <clears throat> I wish you were coming with us, Mac. I just can't, Tiffany. I was hoping you'd uh, be there just to lend me moral support. I'm sure you'll say exactly the right thing, Sean. You're right. I hope you're not mad at me, Uncle Matt. Me mad? No. Oh, Robin, I can never be mad at you. I just can't do it, that's all. I know. I know you love me, too. I missed you there today. should be going, sweetheart. Uh, I know. You have everything? Hmm? Yeah, let's go. Okay. We'll see you later, Mac. Later. Yeah. Really, I'm sorry, you know. I know. Robin's being very brave, Mac, but she needs you. Mm -hmm. Sad day for poor Charles. I guess we all thought they were invincible. None of us are. service which takes place today is expected to be attended by state and national dignitaries as well as friends and family of the revered Mr. and Mrs. Robert Scorpio who met their death. <laughs> Look at the tents 
Lobby. Be very careful what you say. Papa Bass bellowing his protective roar. Kind of like that, too. It shows another dimension of your personality. But would you know that love and family, huh? Tell me. Here we go. Responsibility, yeah. absolutely nothing. Well, how would you know? You had it all in the palm of your hand and you destroyed it. Yeah, I destroyed it. How can you believe that I'd have it in me to kill my own brother? You killed your own parents. Robert told you that? He said I killed him? Robert! Let me tell you something, there's more to our fraternal relationship than you could ever dream of. Certainly more than he's made you privy to. He's going around telling people I knocked off my parents. I can't believe it. They died in a plane crash and you were the pilot. You don't deny that, do you? Listen to me! If he dies, I'm going to see to it that you do. Believe that? Look, if we get through all this, and we will, why would you want to help me? For myself and for someone else. <laughs> Hey, I'm going with you. Hey, listen, not this time. I, I need you here. I need a favor, big one, in fact. Sure, ask away. You heard me saying earlier that uh, Robin and Holly are going to move into the house. Well, I'm going to feel better if you're out there looking after both of them. Yeah, you got it. I'm going to find my wife, and I'm going to try to bring her back, so listen to me. Promise me that you're going to take care of yourself. Hey, wait a minute. There's the big brother. Promise me! It's a promise. Now, get out of your place and get some stuff upstairs and tell Robin she gets to live with her favorite uncle. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today to uh, honor two people who had a very profound effect on all of our lives. Robert Scorpio and Anna Devane Scorpio. Two people who were loved by, by everyone who met them and knew them especially me. I, you're going to have to forgive me. I, uh, I think that they both deserve uh, much more than just a written speech. And I wrote this. I sweat bullets over this one. Until someone said to me, uh, why don't you just say what you feel? So I think that they, they both deserve something from the heart. And the heart is something that they both knew quite a bit about. You know, in, in, in this thing, I was going to use phrases like intelligent, compassionate, oh, courageous, a lot of things. But the driving force in their life was that they cared for other people. And that feeling, uh, <laughs> that feeling got them into trouble quite a few times. In fact, I can remember the first time they ever met. I was uh, head of the World Security Bureau then, the WSB. Individually, they were two of the best agents I'd ever trained or worked with. 